Oh, Should I say ladies and gentlemen, Sorry. this bout is good for three five-minute rounds at a catch weight 150 pounds. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, his style, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. At five feet, seven inches tall, he weighed it officially 149 pounds. His professional record stands at five victories and three defeats. Fighting out of County Donegal, Ireland, here is Stevie. And next is the opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist also standing five feet, seven inches tall. He weighed in officially 147 and one half pounds and brings a professional record in 11 bouts, six wins, five defeats from Newcastle, England. Here is Liam Bad Intentions James. <laughs> Referee in charge of the action, Mark Goddard. So our referee to get this 150 pounds catchweight fight underway will be Mark Goddard. The black shorts in the blue corner for Stephen Cole, the grey shorts in the red corner for Liam James. Touch of gloves gets us underway here. Don't forget you can follow all the action on Twitter tonight as well, at Cage Warriors, hashtag CWFC55. Yeah. Early high kick from Liam James drops Cole, but he immediately starts looking for some open guard work. Cole doesn't seem to be able to keep his feet. He's having a hard time uh, in the middle of that canvas on the on the center piece. The first kick knocked him over, and then uh, he looked down on his foot again and slipped. Good work from Liam James to be the aggressor up against the cage. That really is one of the ways he's fought in the past, grinding opponents out, very aggressive, very controlling, often relying on his conditioning and tenacity to see him through the Whoa. fight and a huge throw. Nice twisting Greco throw, incredible position, got his hips in there nice and tight. He caught James leaning on him and pulled him over. Good position. Well, let's see what he can do on the ground here. As we mentioned, brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for Stephen Cole, so expect some pretty crafty defensive work. Liam James nicely establishing that side control. How important is that far underhook for him, Frank? He's got to keep it nice and tight, especially against a guy with such high-level jiu-jitsu as Cole. If Cole gets any kind of positioning, he will. He's doing a good job keeping his knees in, keeping the weight on him. He's a little bit too high up. He's got too much weight across, though. He can't really get, he can't really change his position too much and put more weight on him. Nice little hip switch from James to kill that first attempted defense by Stephen Cole. Late Coles, very good underneath here. He's very positioned. He's very patient, so he's not taking that much damage. And the pressure that James is giving him is not bothering him at this point because he's just trying to hold him there, and Cole can play with that game all day long. Yeah, the standout performance for Liam James, uh, certainly in his Cage Warriors career, was that tremendous fight of the night at Cage Warriors Fight Night 5 against Jean and Doy. Of course, Jean and Doy we're going to see later on in the opening bout of our televised card. Catch that at 9 p.m., MMAJunkie.com. CageWarriors.tv and various other outlets around the world. But right now, Liam James just controlling this first round. Halfway point here, and it's... Well, Stephen Cole has just about managed to get some form of guard back in. Half guard now for him. There he goes. He I was just going to say, he dedicated himself getting all the way in the back of the guard. Oh, and he's immediately oh. looking for Kimura. He's got the grip. He hasn't quite managed to secure the body. Liam James trying to roll out of it. At the very least, Cole should be able to come up with a sweep here. A good defense from Liam James. Good position. Nice, strong position. Was in a bad, 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 bad spot. Learned, worked his way out of it. Now he's trying to get away from going down underneath him. I really like the patience of Stephen Cole. He absorbed that side control as soon as he went back to full guard he immediately attacked that kimura earning himself the sweep high single now options to finish this here frank he needs to get his hands locked again staying up high on that underhook is not is giving him a way out pinching his legs allows his leg to be freed now he's not gonna be able to finish takedown at all in all that position worked all his all of his back off his back finally got back in now with the single again he's sidestep a little more weight he's got the shoulder off he's in a bad position to run the pipe he definitely needs to try to do, though. Really good balance from Liam James, who immediately turns and looks to take top position again. 
all that work by St Stephen Cole. He did all that work to get up and end up down underneath again because he didn't hold on and put his hands in the wrong position. Liam James has really tried to reestablish himself after what was a couple of disappointing losses for him. Uh, a guillotine loss to Olivier Pasteur. And then uh, what I have to say was a very disappointing performance for him against Alan Philpott back in uh, March of this year. But it appears a couple of months over here in Dublin with the Straight Blush Gym natives have done him a world of good. And he's in firm control here as we move towards the last 40 seconds of this first round. Good type position, his hips are in. He could be trying to pass a little bit with that left leg. If he needs to, he needs to do a better job with his right leg trying to hold that knee in. But he's hitting, he's hitting Cole so much now, he's kind of feeling comfortable in this spot. And if you look at Cole's style, he's not trying to strike back. All he's looking for is sweeps and a tie up uh, Liam so he can't hit him as much. He's really looking for, for a position where James is, is not going to be able to hit him as much, not really getting any kind of uh, offense off. It's all defense at this point. Last 10 seconds here. Let's see if Liam James, I don't think we're going to see him take any risks. Oh, nice capoeira kick from Stephen Cole. But really, Frank, the story of that first round, a good portion of control for Liam James. Yeah, I, I really believe that Liam James won that first round 10-9. Um, absolutely, because if you look at his position, look how he does. He steps in so high and so quick on most of his techniques and makes it very, very simple. Replays here from that first round. Take a look at some of the action, that high kick from Liam James. And that's what I was talking about earlier. Cole is having a hard problem with his feet. He couldn't keep his feet on the ground, and then Liam James gets in there, rolls him up, throws him on his back. Later on, it's Connors coming Look how good Liam is. He takes his right leg and pushes on the hip. He pushes on the hip, and he's trying to square himself out. When he finally gets out of there, he's able to get back on top. It, it was a really thoughtful defense, wasn't it? It was. It, 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 at first, I thought he was just scrambling, hoping that his arm would come out. And I saw him put that foot on the hip and push away. I knew he'd been, he'd been practicing that position for a while. He was stuck in there before, and he really did a great job of getting out of there. Well, a thumbs up from John Kavanaugh to his newly acquired fighter, Liam James, as he exits the cage here at the Helix in Dublin. Touch of gloves. Some fantastic amateur fights already in the books here tonight, but the atmosphere is certainly hotting up. Good setup of the shot from Stephen Cole. He's earned himself a takedown early here in the second. Oh, going right over to the, trying to lock in the guard. A little bit low. He needs to slide up a little bit more to be able to hold that guard in, or hold the, the mount position in a little bit better. As you can see, he slipped out. You let Liam get out of there because he didn't lock up high, high above the knee, but he's still battling for this takedown. Good work from Liam James, using the cage to immediately pop back up, reverses the position, really trying to drive that head up under the chin. Separate your head, separate your, his body from his head. Makes it very difficult for Cole to do anything. And James is doing a good job now of giving head pressure, leaning on him, making him carry his weight, but he's not spending that much energy himself. A little bit of a break for us after Cage Warriors 55 tonight. We'll be back at Cage Warriors 56 in July. It's uh, the 6th of July in London. Some great fights being announced for that this week. But tonight, it's all about the Helix in Dublin. Flyweight world title on the line later on this evening. Again, Liam wow. James showing that power when he gets underneath, connects the hip. He is so strong in that position, and he does such a great job of getting his hips to the body. He doesn't lift his back. He lifts all legs and puts him right down the ground. He makes it look almost effortlessly when he, when he puts uh, Cole down on the ground. Good guard recovery again for Stephen Cole, but they're right in the corner of Liam James's team. Very detailed instructions coming from John Kavanaugh. I don't think Liam James needs to take too many chances here. If Liam James gets on top again, I'd like to see him keep, keep side. He had a good position, he allowed, he allowed Cole to get back in. And on his feet, right now, Cole needs to go a little bit harder. He needs to keep being that aggressive. Liam James closing the position off that attempted spinning back fist. Very nicely. Body lock again. We've already seen the amplitude he can put on the throws from here. Look for him to step his hips in. When he moves his feet forward to step his hips in, the, the throw's coming right next. There as you go. As soon as he steps in, he, knows, he, throw, he steps his, his hips in so quickly, and he moves the entire body. When you see him throw him down, for those of you at home that are recording this, when you throw him down, He's using his whole body. He's not just using his arms independently from his legs. 
He locks the arms close to his body and rotates his entire upper torso. That's what's throwing Cole down. It's all leg work. It has nothing to do with the arms. It's amazing to watch how good this guy is at, at throwing uh, upper body Greco throws from this position against the cage every single time. And a very heavy top half guard for him here, keeping his opponent very flat. Looking to move to deep half, perhaps, Stephen Cole, but very strong left underhook for Liam James, really keeping his opponent pressed to the mat. Liam James trying some leg work to free his legs, and instead Stephen Cole reestablishes guard. Oh, oh, Plata. Plata. So quick, so smooth. He's setting that up for the moment that he started getting back in the well, guard. He, I mean, he's given Liam James a chance to posture here, hasn't he? It's... Oh, toe hold attempt. Very interesting combination, but a little smirk on the face of Liam James. He knew he was going to get caught there, but now he's pinned up against the cage with a guy like Cole. He's got great hip position, understands the jits game. He's got you pinned against the cage. You throw down punches and elbows on you from here. If you catch him with one solid, you could see a title, a uh, tie change in this fight. Really nice on Plata entry from Stephen Cole. Span the hips out out of nowhere, but not quite able to secure control of the body and really crank that uh, rotator cuff. But this really is his bread and butter grinding up against the cage. It's a lot of weight, it's a lot of pressure, and he's really not expending that much energy. It's actually really smart. It's a great position. Inside the last minute of this second round, again, Liam James just powering Stephen Cole to the canvas. And that time, Stephen Cole stopped the first throw, but Liam James jumped right into the second one. He started chain wrestling. He didn't do just one move and stop. He was already looking to go to the second move. If he missed it, he did miss the first one. It made it very simple. Great position. Yeah, knees up high in this side control for him. Not too long to work in this position. Probably just expecting some short shots. Looking to step over to mount. Oh, and he goes for an arm bar. A little loose at the end, but yeah. I think he knew time was ticking down there. Yeah, he heard the five-second pop from somebody's corner and jumped into it. Well, Liam James, the second round very much in the mold of the first, controlling the position on the ground, some good takedowns. Let's take a look at a few replays from that round. Good pick up and throw, dumps him on his face, and ch chases, chases, chases with that underhook on the far side. Now you see the spins coming in here. He caught him, but Liam James was already stepping forward, so it wasn't going to have that much pressure. It was great to see how, how tight he is on all these throws. I can't believe he got out of this, this Uma Plata. The Uma Plata was a very deep, deep, tight position, especially when Cole goes to that toe guard, goes to toe hold. Tries to finish the toe hold, but it, Liam knew it was coming. It made it very easy to get out of there. And here was that wrestling combination that was so effective for Liam James. Take your opponent one way. When he spreads his base to that effect, you just reverse and take him the other. Two rounds in the books here, probably both going the way of Liam James. Our referee, Mark Goddard, to get us underway. For the third, just a reminder, Stephen Cole in the black shorts with the red hair, Liam James in the grey trunks. Stephen Cole's tried that spinning back fist a couple of times now, looking for Kimura defense to the body lock, but Liam James is in so tight on this. Entire body uh, into it every time. I mean, it's one thing, Frank, to drop the guy to the canvas, but when you follow him down with your body weight and really drive him through, how much more prolific does it make those takedowns? Well, let's not forget that when a guy lands like that, he has to spend the energy to keep his head off the canvas to keep it from hitting, or he ends up hitting his head on the canvas. The energy of using the front of your neck takes a lot of wind out of you, but then if you don't use it, you end up smashing your head off the canvas and your brain bounces around the side of your skull. Again, Stephen Cole looks for the Omoplata, though. Liam James trying to buck out. Cole earning uh -oh. a sweep. But head shot's coming. Yeah, good scramble here. Let's see if he's got too much. He looks for the back, though. Liam James has got to be very wary of all the choke combinations here. But easily escapes. 
A chance wow. wasted, perhaps, for Stephen Cole there, Frank. Cole had a spot. He had he run up his neck. He tried to switch and take his back. He should have stayed in front, knee him in the face a couple of times. So he put his hand on the ground, then took his back. He was trying to do. He was trying. To... Oh, nice spinning uh, back kick did land, but Liam James walking straight through it. He's so much stronger, so much more stable. Everything that that Cole hits him with, he just bounces off him. Stephen Cole dragging this down to the canvas. Single butterfly hook for him now. Look for him to try and really lift Liam James up. Wow, great guard pass. Great control, keeping the, the chest down and tight, taking control of the head, and then just sweeped his legs across. Great job by Liam James to get, to get so through. So aware of where his hips were. Again, a very tight control on that far shoulder of Stephen Cole. Just approaching the halfway mark in this third round. Josh Palmer and Frank Trigg calling the action here for you at a sold-out Helix in uh, Dublin, Ireland. Stephen Cole is starting to run out of time here, I feel. What can he do, Frank, to really try and change the game here? He's had a few good entries, but nothing too sustained. He's having a hard problem. He's letting Liam James get, get side on him and get on top of him and lay his weight down on top of him. It's not doing much damage to him. It's not allowing him to get out and get free either. Cole needs the first thing he's got to do is fight himself back to half guard, get himself back in the full guard, and immediately start attacking again. If he gets to the Uma Plata, don't look for the toehold this time. Sit all the way up. Immediately sit all the way up. If he gets to Kimura, he's got to pack it to the far shoulder. The first time, he packed it to the far hip, and that gave Liam James time to get out. Stephen Cole's looking for Kimura from the half guard position here. It's a little bit harder to free out just because you don't have as much control of your opponent's body. And back to full guard now. He's got to start throwing the legs up. Start really working the hips and trying to be as active as possible. If I were Liam James, I'd just consider separating the distance here. Good rib kick. It's a little bit too high. Come on the elbow, so right in the rib. Cole's, Cole's got some good techniques, got some good skills, some good misdirection to that shot. Wow, take that pass, nice double. But he even allowed Liam James to bat himself back in again. Yeah, Stephen Cole showing his takedown prowess now. Earning himself top position, trying to step over to the mount. Liam James is going to try and stay as tight as possible here. Any space leaves space for strikes. In this position, Cole's got to throw throw everything out. He's got to put everything out there right now to try to win this fight. So he final lost the first thirty two. seconds. He's just got to go for it. Yeah, absolutely. And Liam James can he basically just hold on and ride out here. Cole's the one that's in trouble. Tight overhook grip for Liam James. I think he's going to do just that, Frank. Really try and stall out the position from the bottom here. First elbow of the fight landed by Cole. Looking for the straight ankle lock. Switching over for the heel hook. Oh, and just as time slips away. Well, Stephen Cole had his moments. He had a, a few entries, but as we go to a judge's decision here, Frank, I don't think there's too much ambiguity which way it's going to go. No, I have a 30-27 for uh, Liam James, but we'll see what the, what the judges actually say. They could have called it 29-27, uh, or they could just call me a complete fool and go the <laughs> other way. Well, it was good periods of control from Liam James, and really the key to this fight for him was those tremendous takedowns in the clinch. Replays Great. here. Great position, nice and tight. Every time he does, his hips move in, and even when he doesn't quite get his toes off the ground, he still drives through. But so impressed with the way Cole can find a way to get to Puma Plaza every single time. Just surprised he couldn't ever finish it. Cole's a very game fighter. He just didn't have a, I don't think he had a really smart game plan for this fight. Yeah, Liam James said that he felt the northeast of England was perhaps a little too divided in training and wanted a, a proper team mentality where everyone was driving forward towards the same thing. And perhaps he's found a new home at Straight Blast Gym in Ireland. Joe Martinez with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the scorecards. All three judges agree, 30-27. Unanimous decision victory for Liam Badintich! Cheers!